Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Elisabetta, for those who don't know me, an Italian-based uh, watercolor artist. I have a passion for art supplies and I'd love to share my experience with uh, my art supplies with you. Today we are reviewing this uh, little watercolor set by Derwent, a British brand. And uh, I've had it for a while, so you see it's not new, it's quite well used. And it is uh, their graphite tint paint pan pocket set. They also have uh, pencils, graphite tint uh, pencils, pencils, but this is the pan version. And it is basically graphite mixed with colors. I can't wait to swatch them with you. As there is uh, not much uh, information on pigments used, it's not going to be a very in-depth uh, scientific review. So I have decided to have a, some fun with this swatching and paint some stones because I think that uh, stones uh, are the perfect subject for this uh, little uh, watercolor set. Let's start with the autumn brown. I will re-wet paper first because from what I remember the flow on paper is not uh, very good. So if we wet the paper first it's going to be easier. I love the names that they use autumn brown. It's so evocative. Don't you think so? And uh, here we have our autumn brown. Look at the granulation and the range of values that you can achieve. Look at the, the difference between light wash and, my to and uh, mass tone. That's incredible. That's why I wanted to paint some stones because uh, you get all the depth and little creases that you get in a mineral world and you also get some lovely lovely granulation let's move to russet russet should be a warm yellow the first colors are uh, the warm ones this is russet should be a dark yellow but uh, it's more, uh, it's very greenish, it's very muted, like all these colors. I have a passion for muted colors, so I, I'm smiling in this moment because I see all this uh, granulation and muted tones. Uh, look at the, how deep and rich this uh, muted yellow is. Let's add some depth here. Okay, let's go to the next color, which is meadow. So it uh, should be a, a grass, uh, a grass green. It's a lovely granulating muted uh, green. These colors, although I have used it uh, already a while, every time I use them, they amaze me. They, I think they're breathtaking, <laughs> um, especially if you use them in combination with some standard watercolors for some details, I don't know, like stones or sky or maybe some faraway forest or faraway mountains. This is green-gray and green-gray, it's, um, it's a bit dull. It's maybe the color I like uh, the less. First of all, if I'm not wrong and I think I'm not, it is the one that has the lower flown paper. Some of these colors 
none of them has a good flown paper but uh, this is really 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 uh, freezing on paper it's impossible to move it just doesn't move but uh, also the The hue is not so romantic and uh, stunning as the other ones, but um, it can make sense if you use it as a contrast to the other paint. The next color is slate green. If you look at the reference card, it should be a sort of teal. Teal is one of my favorite colors. Sorry, I always have some cat hair or maybe golden retriever hair because I have two cats and two golden retrievers. And um, okay, let's go back to our paint. And um, this is a beautiful uh, dark uh, turquoise. Although I re-wetted the paper, the flow is not extraordinary, but we know it's not a forte of this set, but uh, it compensates with the beauty of this color. Look at this. The texture that it can create is incredible. Okay. I don't know if I like the names more or the colors. This is ocean blue. It's a beautiful muted blue. Imagine using this for, I don't know, buildings. I think I could make a, a whole village. I will do it using uh, buildings with these uh, colors. Because for walls, uh, it's uh, incredible. Should be beautiful. I will add more in a corner for added texture and depth. Because I like the, I told you already, but uh, I like to repeat myself, as my son says. And uh, I like the value range that I can achieve with this paint. Let's go to steel blue. They um, recommend to use this uh, paint with the cold press and not a whole and not a hot press because um, it's very granulating. Look at the beautiful granulation that you get uh, in almost all of these colors, all I would say, and. Uh, Of course, uh, in cold press paper, where you have a uh, rough texture, it's much more obvious the, the granulation. And this uh, steel blue is a cold, uh, it's a cold gray actually. And uh, it's beautiful. Let's go to dark indigo now. And um, it's not really an indigo, it's a dark blue, but um, it has a, I see it, at least, I see a purple undertone. And um, it is very beautiful, like most of these paints. Let me add some must on, look at this, it's velvety. Can't wait to see it dry. Look at the granulation here. Now we go to aubergine. Aubergine, it's a nice statement of uh, being a British uh, brand. When I studied English, I was taught that uh, aubergine is uh, the English uh, UK English, British English for eggplant, which is the American term. So if I read aubergine, I would immediately know it's a British English 
blend. And this is a nice aubergine color. Let's add depth here. This is so granulating. Beautiful. Juniper. Now we have juniper. What a beautiful word. Juniper is. And it is a muted mauve. Look at that. not uh, the color that I have used much it's not so easy to use maybe but um, it's very beautiful in, in clouds can you imagine a sky where you use your juniper beautiful now port port should be a dark uh, wine red and actually it is uh, the names are very well chosen now we go to graphite gray graphite gray is a is a warm gray with a lot of color variation and color separation i can even see the graphite particles that uh, separate from some yellow paint and uh, it is a lovely effect can you see the separation here uh, i'm not sure you can see it in camera but i can tell you you can clearly see it on paper okay now I wait until the swatches are dry and then I come back for some final considerations. See you later. Okay, our swatches are dry and um, we can make our comments. First of all, this is a wonderful paint. I know this is not very scientific or remark, but it's from the bottom of my heart. This is really wonderful. It's not compulsory, it's optional, but it's a really lovely add-on to your watercolor sets. It's, uh, it is expensive, but um, uh, it is something that uh, you are going to use a lot. It is, they say it is recommended for landscapes and uh, urban landscapes and i see why because of this uh, texture that it gives and for the muted tones they don't say on the site on the website they don't mention light fastness uh, i don't think they are light fast uh, um, i haven't run a test uh, but uh, if you use them in a sketchbook uh, as i do uh, that wouldn't really matter when they say it is very recommended for urban sketches, you know that um, drawing in a sketchbook is the first indication for such a technique, urban sketching. There are some warm colors like uh, browns, russet meadow, and some cold ones. And there is no one that is uh, similar to the other. Maybe these two grays, this is more this is colder, this is warmer, but look at the texture that they achieve. They have very little flow on paper, but um, okay, this is a fault, but this is also an advantage because you can get this uh, very, very nice added texture. Now I really wanted to paint something with this paint like today. And if I do, I will show you. Mm. I think that uh, they're also very nice if you use them as a complement to standard watercolor because they have such a different effect that uh, they will be an incredible background 
You can have some details in standard watercolor against a uh, background with this uh, Dervent uh, graphite tint and uh, it will really pop out because these are so muted and soft. So um, I hope you have uh, liked this uh, review. I hope you appreciated this uh, watercolor set as much as I do. And um, I'll see you soon on my channel. And don't forget, uh, if you appreciate my videos, uh, to like and subscribe so you do not miss uh, my next videos. It's everything for now and a big ciao from Italy. Ciao, bye bye.